Welcome back to Dealer Reviews. Today we're looking at the Pure Loop 240 by Be Quiet. Uh, this is the 240 variant, so 240 mil fan uh, and radiators. Uh, and uh, there's also a 360 of this, I believe. Um, so basically, I'm going to take you through this cooler itself, tell you a few bits about it, then we're going to get it on into the system and do some testing. So if we start off at the uh, radiator, 240 mil radiator, obviously. So you get two Pure Wings fans to go on this. Pure Wings two fans, um, obviously by Be Quiet. Um, it's a nice looking radiator, simple black, 28mm uh, thick, and it has the Pure Loop logo on the top there. Then coming down, we have the braided cables, sorry, braided, braided tubes, um, which obviously carry the, the liquid to the block and to the radiator. Uh, so they're all nicely uh, braided and look really good, and um, will fit into anyone's uh, build there. And then this is a new thing that um, I've not seen many do, if any. <laughs> Uh, is the, basically the pumps in line in the tubes rather than actually on the block itself. It's actually in line in the tubes and there's a cable coming out there to power the, power the pump. That uh, may help for a bit of better cable management, uh, I'm not sure. Then we come down to the block itself and it's a relatively small block I suppose. Um, it's got a nickel plated copper base, um, obviously remove that sticker. Uh, your mounting screws and it's also got this little cover here which has a white glow LED around the outside of it and this cover can also be removed so that you can spin it the other way around depending on how you put your radiator and your loop into your system you can spin it around so that it fits onto your basically the logo is always the right way around. So now let's talk about what we get inside the box itself. So firstly you get a power cable which is SATA powered which can power the fans and also the pump itself. Then we get a bag of screws to connect the uh, fans to the radiator. Then we get obviously all the fixings for the Intel and both AMD as well uh, to fix it to your CPU. Then these are the Pure Wings 2 fans that come included. Obviously there's two of those um, to fit onto your radiator to push the air through them. And also we get a little bottle of coolant so you can actually top this system up. So now I've taken you through the features and I've shown you what you get inside the box. Let's get it installed in the system and then we'll come back up top and we'll do some testing. Right, so now I've shown you a little bit about the cooler itself, what it includes in the box and everything like that, and what it looks like, and the features of it. Let's get into some test results. But first, I'll tell you about the price. Absolutely incredible price. $92.99 here is in the UK, so probably about the same sort of price in the US in dollars, maybe about $100. And for a 240 AIO, that's absolutely brilliant. I'll put up on the screen the prices for the different sizes that it comes in. It comes in 120 240, 280 and 360. So I'll put all those prices up on the screen for you now so you can have a look. And like I said, let's get into some performance testing. Now to test this, I tested it against the Dark Rock 4 just to give a bit of comparison against an air cooler. Obviously, I know I could test it against better, other, other air coolers just to see how it performs, but I don't really have any at the moment. Um, so I tested it against the Dark Rock 4, which is a fantastic cooler. Really, really good air cooler. And this Pure Loop is even better. Um, which you would expect from an AIO, but it is fantastic. I am absolutely blown away by the performance of this. So anyway, let's get into it. So for Cinebench, uh, I ran just to give it a stress test. I ran a 10 minute, 10 minute loop of that. Um, so just, just to obviously build build the heat up in the loops, to see how well it performs. And on the Dark Rock 4, I got 72 degrees on average over that 10 minutes. And on the Pure Loop, I got only 64. So like eight, sorry, eight, yeah, eight degrees less on that one which is absolutely brilliant. Now that isn't a really real world sort of test, uh, I suppose, um, it's not something that really pushes, your, that really pushes your CPU hard, which in uh, normal day-to-day -day applications you're not going to be doing. So then I decided to render a 4K video, it might be some uh, use case that some person, someone's got um, that will be using this cooler. Mm. And I just ran a 4K, uh, 4K render, uh, it's only a short video, but on the Dark Rock 4, I got an average of 67 degrees, and on the Pure Orp, I got only 55 degrees. So that massive 12 degrees drop over the, the rendering of that video. Only took a few minutes to render, but still, that gives you a sort of real world comparison as to how it would perform in day to day tasks. And then, lastly, again, just to give a more broad um, view of how it performs, I ran Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, benchmark, build a built in benchmark, and I ran it at 1080p on the highest settings to put more load onto the CPU again to show you what it'll perform like in the real world. And the Dark Rock 4, only 53 degrees on that, again, it is a good cooler. And the Pure Loop, only 37 degrees on average across that benchmark, which is absolutely incredible, really, compared to a, an air cooler. And for the price, it's it's 
it's really, really good. You're not going to find many other air cool, uh, AIOs sorry, that are performing just as well for that sort of price range. Um, so now let's get into things that I don't like, and I'm really picking at straws here. It's really uh, hard to uh, to find anything wrong with it at all. Um, the only thing I can really think of is the cables from the block and the cables from the pump maybe could have been sleeved inside the inside the side of the tubes just to tidy them up a little bit and all come out at the radiator and then maybe have uh, cables on the fans and on all those other bits that can be daisy chained together so you can keep it all nice and tidy. That's the only real downside I can see of this. Other than that, there's not really anything. Maybe they could do a RGB version, so that's something they may do in the future because I know they've started doing RGB on their cases and things like that. But for me, that's not a problem. It's just a, an observation that some people might like to see. Um, but I believe I think the, the white light on the block on this looks absolutely fantastic and the cooler as, as a whole looks brilliant and uh, fits into pretty much anyone's build with it being just neutral colours. The brushed aluminium block and then the rest of it obviously is black. Especially in my build with the white light with my F38 which has also got a white light on it. It looks absolutely fantastic so I can't grumble really at all. Um, and that's that's really it guys there's not really a lot more i can say about this um it is a really good cooler uh thanks again be quiet for sending this over to me i really appreciate it, it really helps me out uh, especially being a small youtuber that i am so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope if you were looking to buy this this is going to push you in the right, right direction to buy it because i would definitely purchase it myself it is absolutely brilliant uh like if you did like this video please don't give it don't forget to give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it let me know why in the comments section below Ask me any questions you have in the comment section below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe and that bell icon to be notified on my next videos and to help my channel out. I really appreciate it guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.